Hey, yeah, I'm in St John's Road in Waterloo and I'm on my way to Crosby to video the post box I was talking about this morning. It's quiet, you know, and it's only, it's quarter to two and there's hardly any, any, anybody, any people, <laughs> I couldn't get the words out, anyone around. So it's, it's Tuesday, as you know, but I can't believe how quiet it is. I've just called in the vet actually um, to inquire on how much it'll cost to get Lucy microchipped because in June the law says that cats have got to be microchipped um, from June this year. I mean she's nearly 15 and she's, I don't know why we never got a microchip but she's always got her name and address on her tag and um, but the law says if you don't have them microchipped from June onwards, there's a £500 fine, and if you don't pay that, I think you get 14 days to pay, and then court proceedings and so, stuff like that. So, do you know what? It's not worth, worth that, is it, really, to, to take that chance? So, we're going to get a microchipped. So, it's like £29 to get a microchipped. So, I asked also about a claws getting clipped, because I've got the scissors. Um, hang on, just press the button. Yeah, I've got the scissors. Um, I bought proper little clippers for cats' claws, and I'm scared to do it. And I said that to the um, to the vet, and she said, um, just do it bit by bit. I said, you don't know Lucy. What they do? They've seen Lucy. I think we've been once there with Lucy years ago, but. Um, I said, she's very feisty. I said, um, sorry, I keep pausing it because I'm not taking chances on the road. It's Tesco. Um, I said, she's very, very feisty. I said, so I don't want to hurt her by as I'm trying to cut her claws. Anyway, long story short, um, it's 20 quid to, for them to do both, well, all, all claws. <laughs> so, yeah, you're talking about like 50 quid. So we're going to gonna definitely have to do that for her um don't know when but we'll have to as long as it's before June um because that's when the law starts that they've got to be microchipped it's it's weird not weird but years and years and years ago your dogs had to get microchipped and there was you can go to the police station and get your dog microchipped for free but cats um you gotta pay <laughs> but yeah anyway She's going to get my chip anyway. Right, so, Crosby Road North, I've just been on. I come out of St John's Road, on to Crosby Road North, and I'm down going, going down Queen's Way now. Yeah, the sign, the sign used to be there. But yeah, this is King's Way, so I'm on the way to Crosby. Um, different route than if I was walking to the village. So I've cut down King's Way and I'll go right to the very bottom and then like I'll cross over and turn left and then I'm on to Stewart Road and that's Crosby. So when I get to the post box I'll show you and then once I've done a little video there on this I'll um, stop it and then I'll do a little short on the, um, on the post box. Even King's Way is dead quiet, usually it's full of traffic buses and cars and whatever but um there is everybody <laughs> it's still quite mild i said it was mild this morning and then i went out again and that breeze was cold it was quite chilly even though the sun was out um but coming out now i've only got my jacket on i haven't got my winter coat on or anything it's nice to just have something light on um, so yeah, I'm not cold, quite warm. It's a long road, Kingsway. Um, my doctors are down here and my dentist is across the road from it. My doctors across the road there. I've been in that doctor's for absolutely years and my dentist is just, you'll see in a minute. Yeah, so doctors across the road there. 
I'm the dentist here. My dad's doctors is across the road, um, just a few doors away from my doctors. And my dad, when he went to the doctors, very stubborn, my dad, and he'd only ever see one doctor. I won't say the name, he's not even there anymore, to be honest. But if that particular doctor wasn't on, he said, I'm not going there. <laughs> and my mum was like, you'd need to go. And he went, no, no, if he's not on today, if I can't see him, I'm not seeing anyone. Um, yeah, that's my dad. <laughs> So I'm getting to the end of this road, Kingsway. And as you can see, it's a very long road. It doesn't take long to walk down. It's, um, it looks longer than what it is really, I suppose. Look at the blossom there, look at the beautiful across the road. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's pretty. So I'm turning the corner now. in a minute. <laughs> My now and in a minute are two different things, trust me. It's plain in the sky. So Kingsway. And this is Stuart Road now. So Waterloo and now Crosby. <laughs> um, I don't think I've took you on this um, this route before. I have a long time ago, I think, but um, but not recently. So um, I'm going to show you the post box, which is just up there. I can actually see it from here. The post box isn't where I remember it. The, I'm sure the post office was further down, so maybe when they put the houses there, they moved the post box, I'm guessing. Um, time will tell, I'll have a look anyway. See if I want to get to back onto the floor road, I could just cut through there and walk across, and that'll take me if I keep walking. I'm going past an Astrid house and going to Crosby that way but by going this way um, you see more things. Yeah the post office used to be further down. I'll have a look at the post box anyway. Alexander's Pharmacy is where my mum and dad always got their medications from. And Mike's Chippy, that's um, a good chippy, we used to use that. Um, right, so this is the uh, post box. I think it's the same one. What I'll do, I'll walk on further that way. Um, trying to work out because it said GR on that. Maybe I've got my history wrong, I don't know. I'll have a look anyway. Right, yeah, so that's where the... Um, that's where the post office was. I'm not going to zoom in on that because the houses now. So I remember the post office being there, so they did move the post box, but I'm sure the picture Cliff sent me on my phone, on his phone, and he sent it to me. I'm sure it said it had Queen Victoria's cipher, but that's that's G for George, isn't it? So I'll have a look. My roadies. So if I went that way, I'd go right to the very bottom and the other side of the other end of this is where I used to cut down to meet my mum because she'd come out like of her road and then she'd go down Strathmore and wherever. So, like... So this is it. It's not the one that, um, that Cliff showed me. Doesn't seem to be anyway. It's this GR, doesn't it? So I'm not sure now, and I was going to do a short on it as well, but I can't now because there's a car there and somebody's in the car, and I don't want them thinking I'm filming them. Right, so I'm a bit disappointed at that. 
um, post box really. I'm not disappointed as such, but it's not what I thought it was going to be. Um, I don't know. You see, if that car wasn't parked there next to it, I'd go back and video it, but I can't, can I really? So maybe another day I'll research it a bit more um, and then go back and do a short on, on another day. Um, but the picture, oh, I keep going on about that, don't I? The picture cliff WhatsApp to me that came up on his phone. Um, it had Victoria's um, cipher on it. It didn't look, didn't look nothing like that. <laughs> but it's still an old, um, an old post box because it's got GR, hasn't it? Instead of ER. So we'll see anyway. <laughs> I'll, um, I'll have a look when I get home. Right, so I'm going to go home now. <laughs> Do you know, I might call in the um, park on the way home. We'll see. Um, well, I'm sorry if it's a bit of a wasted journey. Um, did a little gab on the way, so it wasn't too bad, I suppose. I'm gutted though someone was in the car because I would have stayed there longer, videoing and talking. <laughs> and then, trying to decipher what's going on with it and then I'd, I would have done a short but like I was planning on doing but um, it's not happening is it? Right so Stuart Road just being and now I'm going back down Kingsway to go home so it doesn't take that long really to walk right at the bottom of crossover and then I'm back near Tesco then on I do you know if I can't find any info when I get home on that post box um, anyone local that knows anything about it please tell me so it's been a nice little stroll anyway a little walk <laughs> got me out the house anyway didn't it so I should go back on a Sunday shouldn't I when them shops are closed so there'll be no cars right next to the um, post box um, and I'll be able to do a short on it and maybe I'll have a little bit more history to go with the uh, with the post box. Right, I'm coming to the end of Kingsway now. I've just walked all that way. Um, so what I'm going to do, rather than turn left and go past Tesco and cross over down St John's Road, etc. I'm going to cross over, go straight ahead and go to Victoria Park maybe see some squirrels <laughs> and yeah, once again I've got no food with me because I didn't know I was going to go Right There's no cross here Right Cross over and I'm going to go to the park now um, I crossed before the lights. <laughs> so it's College Road now. I'm going that way to Victoria Park. So thanks for watching, thanks for walking with me, and I'm sorry if it was a wasted trip, um, wasted journey. Right, catch you later. Thanks for watching. Can hear all the seagulls already. <laughs> See ya.